Assassination is a 1964 period piece from the legendary Japanese filmmaker Masahiro Shinoda. This is one of my very favorite works from Shinoda due to its absolute aesthetic indulgence. It is a phenomenal piece of filmmaking expertise, employing a sharp black and white photography, and it's very particular with its framing. It is a film of absolute visual sublimity. One may also be enraptured by several fierce edits laid in throughout the narrative. And then there is the matter of our ears. This film's score is provided by Toru Takamitsu. To those who do not know, Takamitsu is a highly regarded Japanese composer and music theorist. Many classics of Japanese cinema feature a score from Takamitsu, including some of Shinoda's other works, such as Pale Flower and With Beauty and Sorrow. The three most famous film scores from Takamitsu are likely for 1962's Harakiri, 1964's The Woman in the Dunes, and 1985's Ran. This film's plot concerns the historical figure Kiyokawa Hachiro. Hachiro was a ronin who, in 1862, founded a group of fellow masterless samurai, known as the Kyoto Defenders. Their goal was to protect the Tokugawa shogunate. The film is less of a historical recount and more of a character piece on its protagonist, Hachiro. That being said, this is not a biopic or character study. It is more of a film which, often told in non-chronological order, offers a series of anecdotes about its subject through the lens of several other players. I have to be honest, this is not a film which you can hope to follow if you look away for a minute. Its narrative is disjointed, and I don't mean that in a negative, it was clearly a deliberate choice, or at least I feel so. We get the impression, at least, that Shinoda wanted to give us several takes on his protagonist, on this historical figure, in order to evaluate the legacy of this particular period in Japanese history. The mid-19th century was the period in which Japan was coerced into opening itself up to the Western profiteers. The arrival of Major Perry is the first piece of information given to the audience at this film's commencement. It hangs over the rest of the plot, illuminating its character's behaviour. So in the mid-20th century, such a historical event could be utilised as a parallel. The post-war Japan had become the playground of globalization, or westernization, one might prefer to call it, an apparent prototype for the, inter for the international consumer market in general. Shinoda draws several sketches of a historical figure he feels encapsulates that particular zeitgeist, and with the other characters' perceptions of him, he creates he, he comes across as a vessel to demonstrate the varied reactions toward the spirit of the age. The conflict between the traditional uh, legacy and the progressive, the modern, is delivered as a somewhat Rashomon-esque saga of style and some societal examination. Well, to be honest, I couldn't consider this film an extraordinary piece of historical study in a traditional sense. Rather, it seems as though the almost cartoonish prowess of its protagonist, Kiyokawa Hachira, is used as an irony in order to illustrate the folly of historical narratives, or at least the inherent subjectivity that these narratives are filtered into. But frankly, I'm more interested in this film's aesthetic ability, its pure cinematic finesse, rather than its narrative or thematic coherence, honestly. It matters a little, but not significantly for me. As you all may know, I am less interested in film stories, and more interested in film storytelling, if you know what I mean. I less want to find out what happens, and more want to see how it happens. But hey, I consider this film a moment-to-moment -moment engaging piece of film artistry. I absolutely love it. Most of the Shinoda films, if not all of them really, which I have seen, utterly bowl me over in terms of their aesthetic composition, and as I claimed earlier, I'd consider Assassination among, his very, among Shinoda's very best works overall. So without this being a recommendation show, I still do implore you to watch Assassination by Masahiro Shinoda. It is a masterpiece, I might so declare.